British Prime Minister Boris Johnson stepped up the response to the coronavirus outbreak, saying that the government is now moving to the delay phase, which includes the option of more stringent measures designed to slow down the spread of the disease. The UK is grappling with the spread of the virus, which has now killed eight people so far and infected more than 450. Boris Johnson acknowledged that it was possible that there could be far more cases in the country than the ones reported so far. It's clear that coronavirus COVID-19 continues and will continue to spread across the world and our country over the next few months. We've done what can be done to contain this disease and this has brought us valuable time. But it's now a global pandemic and the number of cases will rise sharply. Indeed, the true number of cases is higher, perhaps much higher than the number of cases we have so far confirmed with tests. We've said over the last few weeks we have a clear plan that we are now working through and we're now getting on to the next phase in that plan because this is now not just an attempt to contain the disease as far as possible but to delay its spread and thereby minimize the suffering. If we delay the peak even by a few weeks then our NHS will be in a stronger state as the weather improves and fewer people suffer from normal respiratory diseases, more beds are available and we'll have more time for medical research. Measures such as closing schools, colleges and a ban on public gatherings as uh, there has been uh, a similar kind of effort that's been made by countries across the world have not been implemented in the UK yet. But the government is advising against the elderly, against the elderly going on cruises and against any international school trips. The chief scientific advisor, Patrick Vallon, said the UK was currently about four weeks behind other European countries with higher number of cases. We are considering the question of banning major public events such as sporting fixtures. And the scientific advice, as we, we've said over the last couple of weeks, is that this uh, banning such events will have little effect on the spread. But there is also the issue of the burden that such events can place on public services. So we're discussing these issues with colleagues in all parts of the United Kingdom and we'll have more to say shortly about the timing of further action in that respect.